How you doing everyone? It's Kevin. I'm back with another video. I have an old meat cleaver here. Uh, actually, um, you're going to be surprised, but somebody threw this away at one of our cleanup days. Uh, they threw this in the garbage. And I happened to pick it up. And now what I thought I would do is restore this old uh, meat cleaver. Hopefully I can get it back to like brand new. Uh, the handles broke on it. It looks like somebody used it as a hatchet, but we're going to see if we can restore this old uh, meat cleaver. I would say it's pretty old. Let me give you a close-up look of it. I would say it's definitely pretty old. I'm not sure, but you can see right in here where somebody had actually used this as a hammer or used a hammer or something on here and battered this down um, the handle is pretty old it's rotten it's actually falling apart you can see there's a big hunk out of it right here and it's actually hand carved the handle is it's not been machine done or anything uh, it's got a, like I said a big crack in here uh, we got a big nick out of the blade right here. We're going to try to get out of there, right in there. Uh, the rest of it ain't too awful bad, but I think we can get it out of there, and I think we can get this back to brand new. Um, that's a look at both sides. Somebody looks like they might have carved a heart in here or something, something like that. Uh, I'm not sure. Uh, pretty heavy, pretty heavy. Uh, but you can see this thing was definitely made for chopping. So the first thing I'm going to do is basically get this handle off of here. And uh, we'll start cleaning up the blade. I wanted to give you just a little closer look of a... Uh, that's the thing I thought looked like a heart. a little closer look at the cleaver you can see right there where they had beat on it but I think I can get that out no problem there's the crack the handle is pretty rough and some people will probably say well why would you want to restore it it's a great looking antique but you know what that don't really matter to me uh, too much whether it be an antique or not it was driven in the garbage it was heading for the garbage if I wouldn't have grabbed it it would have never been seen again so we're gonna restore it That is a black walnut handle. That's exactly what we'll put right back on it. Black walnut.
All right, we got the handle off of it. You can see uh, it was black walnut too. So uh, we're gonna put a black walnut handle back on it. Uh, you can see how this thing is tapered down to pretty much nothing right here. Then it gets fat and then it gets skinny, a little bit skinnier up that way. So now we just have this to deal with and we'll get this cleaned up. Okay, in this uh, process here, I'm going to be using my two homemade 2x72-inch uh, grinders. I have two of them here, and we're going to use that to clean the uh, meat cleaver up. Alright, we're getting that blade to look pretty good. And you can tell this is a hammered out uh, knife uh, or uh, cleaver. It's definitely hammered. It's pretty old. Uh, I was cleaning the other side and then I got over there to this side. And I seen this here written on the side of it. It's hard for me to make out what it says. But... Uh, that's written on one side. I I just seen it, just noticed it. I might have taken some of it off, but being that we're just restoring the knife uh, and or the uh, cleaver, we've already pretty much screwed all that up. If it had been worth anything, now this is all that I think I can make out of it, and I I think that right there, that first letter is an F. I'm not sure. But this is what I made out so far on there, what I could see. But probably by the time we're done cleaning it up, that'll probably be gone off of there. So, oh well. Just the way it rolls, it would have been in the garbage if we wouldn't have saved it. So, if it'd be worth anything, it probably isn't now. Well, as you guys can see, I've got this sanded down actually pretty good. It's almost close enough to start buffing on it, but I need to go get a handle for this thing. I don't have any black walnut this size, so I'm going to have to go and cut a piece of black walnut. Uh, so we're going to run back and go ahead and cut us a piece of black walnut for that handle. Let's get that done. Well, I'm back at my lucky uh, black walnut tree that had fell many, many years ago. I've been cutting knife handles out of this thing for a long time. You can see where I cut one out of there. So, we're going to do the same thing. We're going to get her cut. I'm going to measure the length of this handle. What we think we might need. We're going to cut us a block out of there. Now, I ain't got no tripod, so I'm just going to try to set this camera over here on this stump. Hopefully you guys can watch me carve this thing up. That'll work. 
All right, we got some pretty good pieces of wood here. Uh, I just took it to the table saw and sliced me off a few. And I think I got a couple real nice ones here we could use for the handle on this guy. So we got more than enough wood for the handle. So basically what I'm doing now is I'm using a, I think this is a 400 grit sandpaper. I wanted to run this thing on the buffer and just see. I didn't realize, honestly, how much work I was getting myself into when I uh, was doing this big of a blade. Because when you do a lot of this by hand, it takes a lot of sanding. So let's take it to the buffer and see what happens. Now, for those of you guys who are wondering, this is a Harbor Freight buffer. I did a video on it, so if you ever want to watch it, you can watch it. It's actually a good little buffer. I use it for all my knives, and uh, it works pretty good. So I just wanted to see what it's going to look like if I get the buffing on it. As you can see, it's, it's a little, you know, it's still got some scratches in it, but I just want to try it out. Now this buffer, if you just take your time and work it, let it, don't stop the machine, just let it work. Do the buffing. It does a pretty good job. This might give us an idea of what the blade's going to look like. clean up that one spot. Nah, it's not looking too bad. For an old uh, meat cleaver, antiquer, I think that's going to look pretty good. You can see it's got a pretty good mirror finish to it. So that's going to have to be done to the whole entire knife to get a good shine. Look, you can see the metal through it. It's looking pretty good. Little scratches yet in it, but I'm not going to worry about getting every single scratch out of it. Uh, just want to get it cleaned up. We'll get our handle on it. I think it's going to turn out good.
Okay, before I went to work, I went ahead and fixed, got the wood on the handle. So now all we got to do is get it off and get it sanded down. A big old handle. Let's get her sanded up. Okay, we got our uh, meat cleaver finished, and it turned out pretty decent. Uh, that blade was a little more than I thought. I mean, it still got some scratches in there, but dang, from what it looked like before, it's uh, not too bad. Uh, it turned out pretty nice. And the walnut handle, I just love walnut handles. Uh, that handle turned out great, too. I just wanted to give you a little close-up of everything to show you what it looks like and from an angle you can basically see that the blade almost has a mirror finish it's close but there's a lot of work to get it to that that's for sure a lot of work well, the meat cleaver is finished now. It turned out really nice. Uh, this thing is super sharp. Uh, I do believe you could... Yeah, it may not be... You know, it's shaving hair. So it's it's pretty sharp. Uh, I tell you what, it, it was a lot more work than I thought it was going to be. That blade, it's not like doing a small knife blade. Uh, this blade is a lot harder to get uh, the shine out of it. Uh, so... It was a lot of extra work on the blade, but I enjoyed it, and I hope you guys did too. So I'd like to tell everybody thanks for watching my video. Don't forget to subscribe, leave me thumbs up, thumbs down, or a comment if you'd like. Till next time.